uh, the qualitative or judgmental methods. So I just repeat the same thing, but to, to, in today's class, we are discussing uh, the last one that is historical analogies. So starting from the judgmental method, as I told in the previous class, the judgmental forecasting method is incorporating based on the judgment or opinion and subject probability estimate. The second point is judgmental forecasting is used in cases with the lack of historical data or during the completely new and unique market conditions. So if you include the Delphi method in this particular method, the Delphi method, the market survey and the historical analogy should be included. So in the previous class, we have already discussed the Delphi method and market survey. So today class, we are discussing the historical analogies. So in case of historical analogy, it's a, it's a particular approach to sale forecasting, particularly it is applicable to the marketing personnel or sales personnel. So it is uh, the basic approach to sales forecasting in which the past sales result of a similar product are used to predict the predict likely the sale of similar uh, similar new product. So in, in case of historical energy, it is directly belong to the sale forecastings in the past sales result. So in, in case of historical, historical analogy, you must consider the past sales of similar product to predict to launch whenever you are going to launch a new product in the market, must consider the past sales. This is the concept behind historical analogies. Going to the next slide, the historical analogy mainly forecasts the demand for new product. So whenever you launch a new product, I will be, give you the best example in case of uh, launching of Mahindra Scorpio. So before launching of Mahindra Scorpio, there is no particular past data is uh, available for Mahindra and Mahindra Automotives. So that is why he <clears throat> he just uh, collect the data from uh, before launching Mahindra Scorpio, he launched uh, your Mahindra Bolero in the form of different uh, variant. So after success of Mahindra Bolero, suddenly the company decided that this is, a, uh, this is the uh, mean time where we can launch a new product in the form of India's fast SUV that is, the, that is known as Mahindra Scorpio. So due to that thing, and it is happened due to the historical analogy of Mahindra and Mahindra. So basically, the, this particular forecast, uh, the demand of new product, it may be accurate or it may be cheap. It based upon the forecast and past data of any similar or relevant existence product, then according to the product situations to develop best fit forecast. Going to the next slide. <clears throat> so in case of uh, historical analogy, a judgmental forecasting technique based on the identifier a sales history that is analogous to the present situations, such as sales history of similar product and using the past pattern to the predict future. So as I told, with the same engine specifications, the company like Mahindra and Mahindra launched the Bolero, and that that uh, engine specification little bit modify in the form of your uh, Mahindra Scorpio. Clear. So due to uh, these are very much similar the power ratio you can say the engine specifications so the torque all the technical specifications remain same in that particular product so that is why in case of historical uh, forecastings these are identifying the sales of history of similar product in the present situations and finally such as the sales history of similar product using the past pattern to predict the future sales that is why uh, if you go to the past one decades, uh, even if uh, the latest version is also available in the form of Mahindra Scorpio SUV. And uh, due to that past historical analogy, in case of uh, sales forecastings, they can uh, uh, sustain in the market nowadays. Clear. The next one is that. So this is a particularly theory. Uh, this theory is based on the more realistic assumptions that all business cycles are not uniform in amplitude or duration, and such as the use of history is made not by the projecting any fancy economy into the futures, but by but by selecting some specific specific previous situations. Clear. So in that particular, it is uh, a theory was not more realistic uh, in, in, sorry, in that case, more realistic assumptions should be made depend upon the business cycles. So as far as concerned with the business cycles, uh, as I told in the uh, uh, previous classes, that every business nowadays, uh, nowadays, they are focusing on profit makings through their sales, through their uh, quality of product. 
throw their sales after service. So that is why uh, the uh, forecasting so in, in the form of uh, sales, uh, in the form of demand, in the form of, form of customers, that should be done by this particular judgmental methods. Going to the next one. So in case of, uh, uh, as, you, as I told, in case of theories based on the assumptions, uh, uh, it, uh, this assumption should uh, include the first one is every action has a reaction. The next is magnitude of original action and influence of that particular reactions. So these are the two assumptions which is included in case of historical analogy theories. Uh, we are discuss those things. So the next is forecast by historical analogy. So in case of forecast by analogy is a forecasting method that assume two different kind of phenomena. Share the same model of behaviors. For example, one way you predict the sales of new product and is to choose the existing product, which looks like. Uh, just imagine in the case of uh, live boy sanitary soap, uh, uh, in that case, the existing brand, or in case of, uh, due, uh, you can say that due to the brand value, the company is likely to be the, uh, likely to change. And you can say that it is in the form of new product in the market. That is live boy plus, live boy safety. These are the new product uh, available in the, in the present scenario. The next is used with care and analogy is a form of scientific model that can be used to analyze and explain the behavior of other phenomena. What kind of other phenomena? The phenomena such as the pricing, the packaging, the quality of product, the quantity of product, and different dimensions. These are, these, this uh, parameter or this phenomena should be considered in case of uh, used and with care with analogy, or you can say that is historical analogy. Uh, going to the last point, according to some experts, the research has shown that the careful application of analogies improve the accuracy of forecast. So that is why you cannot be forecast the future, how much uh, you sell in the past and how much you sell in the future. That cannot be forecast by anyone. That is why it provides the accuracy or approximation of your forecast. Clear? Going to the next slide. Then this is the typical example in case of iPhones. For example, in case of historical analogies, the forecasting demand of iPhone 6, the phone cover can be based on the sales of iPhone 6 phone. But the uh, forecasting demand of iPhone 6 will be based upon the sales of iPhone 5. Clear. So here, in case of iPhone 6, there is no historical data or past data should be available. And they should predict similar thing in the form of iPhone 5. Clear. This is the particular case study belong to historical analogy. The next is your quantitative method, time series, or it is otherwise known time series methods. So in case of time series uh, methods, some time series models are considered. So in case of time series model, you use a series of past data to make a forecast for futures. So in case of this uh, time series method or models, it can predict the future is a projection of past. So what you sell in the past, that is the projection of your future futures. That is the concept behind quantitative methods or your time series methods. It observes over a period is a projection part. Sorry, it observes over a period of time to use a series of data to make a forecast for, for futures. The next point is the time series is a time order sequence of observation take a regular interval over a times. For example, in case of hourly, for example, in case daily for example in case of weekly for example in case of monthly for example in case of quarterly or annually so this data may be used for measurement of demand earning then profit then output and productivity so this data should be uh, this data should be stored for the future future forecast applications next one if you go to the decomposition of uh, this particular time series model, the analysis of time series data required the analysis, sorry, analysis to identify the behavior of series by the help of graph. So in case of decomposition of uh, time series, it includes trend. The next one is seasonalities. The third one is cycle. The fourth one is random variation or errors. We'll discuss one by one. Going to the next slide. So in case of trend, the trend referred to gradual, long-term, upward and down downward movement in case of data over times. For example, in case of change in income of a particular group or a particular uh, persons. 
the next is populations the next is age distributions so these are known as the trend this these are gradually and long term and upward and downward movement in case of data over a period and period should be day basis your weekly basis monthly basis quarterly basis half yearly basis or annually basis the next uh, point in case of composition of uh, sorry decomposition of uh, your time series model that is seasonality the seasonality refer to the short term or you can uh, say that is fairly regular variation related to the factor such as weather or your holidays your vacation these are considered as the seasonalities so this seasonality variation can be del uh, can be daily basis or weekly basis or monthly basis clear going to the next one the next uh, um, entities of your decomposition of time series that is uh, cycles and cycles are wave like variation of more than one year or which occur every several years they are usually tied with business cycle related to variety of economies and potential conditions so this cycle wave like variation more than one years and uh, which occurs several years also but uh, in case of usually they tie with business cycle related to variety of economies and political condition also clear the next one is uh, random variation or that is also known as error the random variation are residual which is blips caused by chance and on unusual situation which cannot be predicted so recently you have seen in case of lebanon so due to that uh, ammonium nitrate a huge explosion is uh, take place so due to that uh, random variation in the, in that particular geographical location it directly blips the chance of an unusual situation which directly affect your time series models clear so uh, you can take the example of war also you can take the example of earthquake and flood also in even if in case of cyclone especially the state like odisha also the next one is your simple moving average so in case of simple moving average method i am uh, advise you to arrange a pen and paper that will solve some numericals clear so just i will go through the uh, theory part then we will explain the numerical part so in case of simple moving average it is a arithmetic moving average calculated by adding recent closing prices and then dividing by the number of time period in the calculated average that means uh, the simple moving average is a method of time series smoothing and actually a very basic forecasting techniques so this basic very uh, forecasting should be should be depend upon the upon the choice of uh, the companies the company policies clear the next is uh, next point is in this method the average of demand from several of the most recent period is taken as the demand forecast for the next time period so suppose uh, i am asking to forecast the 12 month that means you have to choose 11 10 and 9 month that is the consum that is why it is written the most recent period is taken the demand forecast for the next time period the number of past period to be used in the calculation is selected in B in the beginning it's kept constant such as three period movings clear so suppose company wants to wants to calculate the simple moving average for a particular demand to forecast the sales or forecast the or profit or forecast the weekly sales or daily sales in that case they provide three period moving average or for example in case the four period moving average that means starting from 1 to 10 you have to predict the 11 month in that case you have to choose the previous 3 month or previous 4 month and the rest month are remain constant clear going to the next slide so here the typical examples so just uh, go through this particular slide for example in case of xyz refrigerator suppliers has expired the following demand for refrigerator during past 5 month and 5 month data are given in the form of tables that is starting from february to june and the demand are 20 30 40 60 and 45 clear the following demand for refrigerator during the past 5 month find out the demand forecast for the month of july using five period moving average and three period moving average using simple moving average method so you have to find out the demand forecast for the month of july using five period moving average and three period moving average by using simple moving average methods so i'll just solve this one then i will provide examples so here the example that is m a n m stand for moving sorry m a stand for moving average n for number of period and that is the summation of demand divided by number of period 
that is the formula already given just note down this particular formula that is man equals to summation of di d stand for demand and your n stand for number of samples so you have to calculate as far as concern with your five period average the five period average means if you go to the previous slide that is five period means starting from previous period you have to predict the demand forecast for july so in that case you have to choose 20 plus 30 plus 40 plus 60 plus 45 how many periods are there there are five periods are there starting from february march april may and june that means in case of five period just divide five and uh, number of uh, moving average for forecast that is 29 units similarly if you go to the next one in case of three period moving average here n is equal to your three in that case if you go directly go to the previous three period that is starting from april may and june that is 40 plus 60 plus 45 that divide by three and the number of unit is 48.33 or it is equivalent to 49 units approximately for demand forecastings clear hello who are uh, hello. i think all of you understand sir, sir. yes sir hello sir okay yes, sir. okay then we'll solve a numerical try to solve the, the next question then we'll explain another methods hello. okay the example is given the table below shows that the data of monthly demand are six month period the six month period is given that is in the form of okay. one two three four five and six calculate the forecast of demand for the seven month using three month moving average Calculate that one. Those who have doubt, they can ask frequently. Okay. Just try to solve that one. Because this type of numerical arise in the form of two mark questions. Clear? If you, if your exam will possible in case of offline. 123. 123. How much? Hello, sir. Try to understand. Here the question already given three month moving average method. That means you have to choose previous three months. That is 140 plus 110 plus 130 divided by how many numbers? Three. Three. Yes, that is three. 126.26 check your answer sir yes sir 127 thoda sa previous ah, slide kijiye ha try to note down the examples okay and this will be uh, submitted in the form sir, of assignment. Sir, I'll... Yes, yes, you can ask. Sir, I'll... I'll... Okay. So try to understand. Here the question the provide the data of six month. Clear. But in case of uh, de uh, forecast or demand for seven month, try to understand. Okay. Using three month moving average. So here your uh, suppose you 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 are an uh, employee of a company and company wants to go for this particular uh, forecast for demand in case of sales clear so in that case the company provides three month moving average calculate using three month moving average in that case your n equals to three clear but here you have, uh, i think you have a small doubt regarding number of month clear here month is not calculated the moving average uh, Yes, sir. That is calculated. That means you have to take the previous three month data that is in the form of 140, 110, and 130. That means fourth month, fifth month, and sixth month data should be taken. That is 140 plus 110 plus 130 divided by three. Clear? Clear? Okay, sir. Yes, sir. I said I missed in previous example the value is 195 and we'll we divide with five its number 139 okay so that's what we in previous examples try to understand this repeat that one try to understand in case of just go to the bottom find out the forecast 
for the month of July using five period moving average. So this particular example contains two type of uh, moving average calculations: one for five period moving average and one for three. So in that case, the that is how much? That is 20 plus 30 plus 40 plus 60 plus 45 divided by five. Clear? Because the question already answer five period moving average, and the next part of question uh, asks. Regarding three period moving average, so in that case you have to choose the previous three. That is forty, sixty, and forty-five divided by three. Clear? Sir, the answer should be thirty. Sir, calculation mistake is thirty-nine units. Ah, okay, twenty-nine units. Dear. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So going to the next one. The next method. Just note down the formula first, then I will explain. All of you note down. Finish. Okay. So in case of uh, weighted moving average method. Yes, sir. Uh, in this method, unequal weights are assigned to the past demand data while calculating the simple moving average as the demand forecast for next pre time period. So usually, most recent data is assigned at the highest weighted factors. The factor are already uh, uh, already. So you can say that is the factor. Always the uh, weighted factor are uh, provided in your numericals. The next is when using a moving average method, describe before each of the observation used to compute the forecast value, and each weighted equally. So when it is uh, this is done, this is known as weighting weighted moving average techniques. And one most important thing, the weights in a weighted moving average must must sum to one. So in that case. Just note down the formula. Then again, in case of weighted moving average places more important on a recent price move, therefore the weighted moving average react more quickly to price change than the regular simple moving average. So here the example. Just note down the example. Then we will solve this one. So in case of example, the demand for defense machinery for a certain project is given each month as follows. So here, ten month data is given. And the defense officer is asked to forecast the demand for 11th month using using the three period moving average techniques. And here, just note down. Then I will explain. All of you note down this one. Finish. Yes, sir. Okay. So in this uh, following problem, I just uh, show that problem. So here is the solutions. So these are the data. Uh, sorry, weighted of uh, factor is given. That is zero point five, zero point three, and zero point two. And the calculated, the calculate the weighted moving average for eleven month as follows. That is moving. Uh, sorry, weighted moving average for three month. That is F double one. That is for the month of eleven. Forecast for the month of eleven. The first weight. Just note down the formula. That is double one into the previous data. Zero point. Uh, 5 into 125 plus 0 0.3 
into 132 plus 0.2 into 126 and the result is 128.2 just note down this Sir, uh, sir, uh, sir uh, wait, uh, in, uh, in your numericals, uh, this data is uh, the the uh, the question itself contain the weighted data always in in all cases. And if you uh, calculate the sum of weighted, that equals to one. That I have already uh, mentioned in your slide. Clear. Sir, it is three. They are just the four. It is four to five. Four. Hello. Uh, in that case, uh, that zero point three plus zero point two, then zero point three, then zero two. Two data should be given, and the sum of all weighted equals to one. It never cross yes, one. The the amount of math given, the weighting scheme also given. Ha. Huh. Okay. So moving to the next uh, examples. just note down these examples if the weighted given for the demand of sorry for the demand 6th 5th and 4th month are 0.5 0.3 and 0.2 calculate the forecast of demand for 7th month using weighted moving average try to calculate this one Sir, one twenty six. One twenty six. I just check the answer. Yes, one twenty six is correct. What about others? Yes, sir, one twenty six. Sagar ka naidu. What is your answer? Sir, one twenty six, sir. I chat me likhi thi, sir. Ah, uh, one twenty six units. That is clear. Yes, sir. Okay. So going to the next method. The last method is exponential smoothing methods. So in case of exponential smoothing method, the weight are assigned in exponential orders, and the weight decreases exponential from most recent demand data to the older demand data. Clear. So you have to compare with the previous demand as well as uh, sorry previous demand with your present forecast demand. Clear. That is that is already written in case of recent demand data to the older demand data. Point number two, it is an easily learned and easily applied procedure for making some determination based on the prior assumption by the users. That is depend upon uh, different scenario, different uh, assumption by the company, and as well as you can say the rule and policy and regulation of the companies. Uh, here some example such as the seasonalities. So in case of exponential smoothing, is often used. For analysis of time series data, clear. The last point: the exponential smoothing for forecast method are similar in that prediction is weighted sum of past observations. As I repeat, the past observation data should be used to to use to calculate the forecast or uh, uh, to forecast the future. So, but the model explicit uses an exponential decreasing weight for the past observations. So, whenever you go to the formula. So this is the particular example. Just note down the example. One of the two-wheeler manufacturing company experience irregular, but usually increase the demand for three product. And the demand was found to be one sorry 420 bikes for June, 440 bikes for July. They use a forecast method which takes average of past 10 year to forecast the future demands. So using the simple moving average demand. Forecast the June is found 320 bikes, and use smooth smoothing constant that is known as your alpha to weight the recent demand most heavily and find the demand forecast for August. 
so try to understand or try to go through this questions here the demand for for the month of june is given demand for the month of july is given and you have to forecast the future demand for the month of uh, for for the month of uh, that is given for the month of august and uh, your smoothing constant is given and the question itself contain the forecast demand of june also that is 320 bikes clear yes or no so in that case just note down the formula that is ft equals to alpha into dt minus 1 plus 1 minus alpha into ft minus 1 the where alpha is your smoothing constant that is given uh, in your questions that is 0.7 clear and ft minus 1 that is demand forecast for this and period and ft stand for forecast for next period demand so if you calculate the forecast for july that is 0.7 into 420 that is the demand for the month of uh, june 420 and 1 minus that is 1 minus alpha 0.7 into the forecast demand for the recent period that is 320 so if you calculate this one this is 390 units similarly in case of for the month of august that is 0.7 into 440 plus 1 minus 0.7 that is already given in your questions that is 440 for the month of july plus 1 Minus 0.7 into 390. That is the uh, sorry, 390 is missing. Clear in the given data. Uh, so you have to write down this particular things. That is 425 units. Sir, 390 July में जो आया उसी को apply कर रहे होंगे सर. हाँ हाँ, 390 is missing in the questions. Clear. So you have to write that one. प्रिंटिंग एरर इज देयर क्लियर और इक्वल सर मैं बोल रही हूं सर जुलाई सर जुलाई में जो एफटी निकाले ना 390 हां 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 सॉरी सॉरी 390 जो जुलाई का जो रीसेंट अप्रैल है दैट इज द डाटा क्लियर यस सर ओके द नेक्स्ट वन इज दिस इज द टिपिकल एग्जांपल्स जस्ट राइट डाउन द दिस डाटा The given weekly demand are the exponential smoothing forecast for uh, two to ten period, ten period that is two to ten period, and uh, your smoothing con constant alpha is given. But there is a condition is given. F one is F one equals to D one. हेलो try to understand in this in this particular numericals that means your demand for week 1 that is 820 and here the forecast demand already given that is f1 is equal to d1 that means the forecast demand is 820 also clear so similarly calculate f2 by using the previous formula
What is the answer for F2? Those who are correct, uh, those who are already done. Sir, Hello. Okay. Sir, 820. Good. 820. Next one. I just dropped the answer in case of your <coughs> drop box. F2 equals to your 820. And calculate F3. So this type of question is arranged in the form of long questions. Clear? It is contains 16 marks. So try to solve this one. Clear? 815. 815, good. Then calculate next one. That is your <coughs> F4. Sir, 680. 680. Okay. Obinas. What is the answer for F5? Obinas Naik. A coders. A ticket slow move. Okay, okay. Chinmay Kara. Your voice is not clear. Snash is Manti. You got your answer for F2, F3, and F4? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Sumandas. Yes, sir. What is your answer for F5? 655. Good. It's a small advice. Do not leave the session before I take uh, take the answer from you. Shiva Shankar Das. What is your answer for F6? Just quickly calculate. Yes. Okay. Good. Eight zero two seven nine eight. Good. 
सिक्स एट नाइन गुड And what about others? Aditya, what is the answer for F10? Seven. So try to solve this one because this this should be a fear in case of your long questions. Clear? Maybe uh, fifteen uh, fifteen days forecast or maybe fifteen month forecast. Clear in case of exponential smoothing. Okay, you can uh, directly uh, mention decimal in, in the form of decimal also. So, me, what is the answer for F seven? So, eight zero two, sir. Okay, good. Sibananda. What is the answer for F four? Okay. F three is eight hundred fifteen point five. No. Ah, you can take one point five also. Okay, just note down the answers. Clear. <clears throat> First one eight twenty, uh, then F two is eight twenty, then F three is eight one five point five, F four eight zero one point nine two, then seven eight seven two six, then F six is seven eight three point five three, and F seven is seven eight point five sorry five point three eight, F eight is seven eighty six point six four, F nine is seven seven six point eight eight, and F ten is seven seven six point six seven. Clear. Maybe some uh, decimal error should be occur. 
in your case or in okay okay going to the last part just uh, note down uh, this formula then we'll explain in the upcoming classes that is the accuracy of forecasting so this is the last slide accuracy of uh, forecast methods that is um, I mean absolute deviation is there so this uh, this model is calculated by taking the sum of absolute value of individual forecast error and dividing by the number of errors so note down the mean absolute deviation that equals to absolute error divided by n and the formula is uh, given below that is summation of error divided by your number of period clear and error equals to your actual minus forecast and it shows the average error of each forecast for a specific period and uh, summation of e that is absolute value of error that is drop in the negative sign that is why it should be placed in case of uh, your uh, that is uh, just note down this uh, bold uh, red color formulas only then we'll uh, solve some numerical in the upcoming classes Can you explain the weighted average again, please? Weighted average means uh, uh, depending upon the uh, company policies, company uh, factors, the weighted assign. For for example, you are uh, you are employee of a company and you are assigned to assigned to a specific project. In case of uh, we can take the best example in case of civil project. You can, uh, take the best example in case of sales promotions. So in that factor, suppose a uh, one factor is given in case of uh, your geographical uh, uh, population study. In that case, few factors are considered. For example, age factors. For example, educational factors. And these these factors should be weighted in case of forecast. For example, in case of uh, uh, if you take the uh, decomposition uh, in case of uh, your forecasting techniques, as you know, uh, the seasonality, the trend, uh, and uh, other factors should be considered. Uh, I will give the best example uh, in case of uh, umbrella in the uh, rainy season, the demand will be very much high, but mm -hmm. the company do not know how much to produce. Yes, so that that uh, that forecast should be done through the, this particular weightage and these weightage are collected through the market survey. Who are yes, the sir. people who are accept the particular? That is why the weightage are always equal to one. And depending upon the company policy, suppose company wants to go for three month moving average or three month moving average or weighted moving average calculation. In that, mm -hmm. in that case, they just segregate this particular uh, weighted weights that is 0.5 or maybe 0 0.3 or 0 0.2, uh, maybe uh, depending upon 0 0.6, then 0 0.3, then 0 0.1. But depending upon those things, you can add this factor in your demand forecasting for the futures. That is the concept. Clear. So since the demand will uh, decrease in consecutive months, so just uh, just uh, take the situation of COVID nineteen. Clear. In that yes. situation, it directly hamper the hamper the FMCG market. Even if your garment sector also. If you take the example of Aditya Billa Group, in case of uh, Pantalon outloads, all the things, the they do not predict the upcoming future. Clear. In the month mm -hmm. of August, in the month of September, because these are the festivities uh, uh, you can say that is uh, seasonalities uh, area or seasonalities of events but the company do not know how much they put in the outlet that uh, directly go to the customers through the sales process clear so that is why they directly uh, provide a forecasting technique or they just use the forecast techniques and these weight are considered what are the weight for example in case of place like bhubaneswar the most of the peoples are belong to migrant peoples they are migrant from different districts. So due to this, this particular situations, what if uh, government will provide holidays, they directly go to their uh, their resident or their uh, homes. Clear. So these mm -hmm. factors should be considered, and these are converted into weights. Clear. I just repeat that one. These weight, uh, the sum of weights are equals to one. That is the concept behind it. 
So whenever you put in case of project, in case of sales, in case of promotion, in case of supply chain, this should be considered. Clear? Yes, sir. Okay, fine. So that's all for today. Then uh, in upcoming class, we will solve uh, uh, more numericals along with the mean absolute error and uh, uh, different... Uh... Sir. Yes, yes. Sir, actually, we have last the last problem in the last one. Yes. 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 Formula पहले वाला but यहाँ पे condition दिया गया है f1 is equal to d1 clear हाँ sir but uh, मतलब हम जब f2 निकाले उस time नहीं नहीं f2 जो निकाले हम लोग previous सर... data लिए 820 data लिए clear उसका present और past दोनों का data लिए don't be confused sir, formula formula कौन से है sir Formula is that that is already given in your slide clear, but the thing is that in sir. numerical two the condition is given f1 is equal to d1. So that is why you have to. Which one? Which one? Sir, 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 Alpha into dt1 minus plus 1 minus alpha into ft minus 1. Haan, sir, so this is alpha diya hua hai 0 0.10. Haan, 0 0.10 is diya hua hai. If you go to the first case, that is already written. F1 is equal to d1. And if all is equal to 1. First case, thik hai, sir. Haan, second Haan, case, first case, thik hai, uske baad. Second uske case, kya karo ke jo previous. 0 0.1 or 0. No, in second case, mein use nahi hoga aur. Second case, my previous demand ko use kya gaya hai. Sir, one minus uh, alpha, one minus alpha nahi hoga wahan pe. Na na, yahan pe yahan pe use nahi hoga yahan pe. That is why I am put in the, in the form of tables. Clear? Sir, wo formula pe to one minus alpha hai na second term. Na na, hai. it is depend upon the previous example. This one here only two month is given. Oh. You are uh, you are confused, I think. Here two months data are given. Here twelve month data is given. So ten month, nine month data is given. But the thing is that here the condition is given that is f1 is equal to d1. So you have to choose the previous data. So if you calculate this one, that is 820. This is the first condition given, and the previous f2. That means your demand is 420. Sorry, 820. And uh, sorry, this is the past demand. Plus alpha into your previous uh, sorry previous demand that is 820 minus 820 that equals to 820. Similarly, if you go, go to the F3, your uh, previous data is 820 is here, and 0 0.1 is the alpha, and 775 minus 820 that equals to 81.5. Here, no formula should be used because due to this that condition that is F1 is F1 is D1. Okay. So, sir, वो तो सिर्फ पहले केस के लिए ही हो जाएगा ना F1 equals to D1 हमको F1 का formula नहीं लगाना पड़ेगा और F1 का value हमारे पास आ गया. लेकिन बाकी सब में तो sir formula वही लगाना पड़ेगा ना sir. जान बाकी सब में वही नहीं लगाना पड़ेगा क्योंकि previous data तुम जो calculate किए हो उस चीज़ से आपसे sequentially तुमको calculate करना पड़ेगा. That is the concept. तो sir हमने जो previously जो data हम calculate कर रहे हैं वो तो forecasting data है लेकिन हमारे table में तो actual data हमको दिया हुआ है. तो actual और forecasting sir दोनों ही हमको चाहिए होगा ना? No, 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 you are a little bit confused. As far as concern with this one, go to the, this particular example. Here, two month data is given. Clear? Yes, sir. Okay. For the month of June and July is given. And okay. one condition is given. June forecast is already given in the, in the form of 320 bikes. Clear? Yes, sir. So here you calculate the first one. Go to the yes, uh, slide. You use this particular formula. Yes, Clear? Sir. Okay, yes, but here in this case, the condition is given, F1 is D1. Clear? Yes, sir. Okay, so whenever but you put in the... In the, the, put yes, in the yes. formula gives the same answer, no? Ha, ha, same answer. Okay. So here you, you are put, didn't put the formula, but even after... No, 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 sorry, sorry. It's, it's, it's my mistake, actually. Actually, there is another formula, sorry. It's my mistake, so... There is another formula to calculate the same things. So okay, I will provide the same formula. Presently, it is not able to uh, in this particular slide. Okay. okay sir. Yes, sir. So okay. in the previous slide, what formula you have uh, given huh. after putting the values in the same hmm. formula, the answer hmm. will not be uh, 
सेम एज प्रीवियसली डिस्कस फॉर एफ थ्री एफ थ्री एट हंड्रेड फिफ्टीन पॉइंट फाइव विल बी देयर बट एफ फोर देर देर विल बी एट जीरो वन पॉइंट नाइन फाइव आफ्टर द एट जीरो वन पॉइंट नाइन फाइव एट जीरो वन Sir, my answer is seven eighty seven point two six. But in uh, while uh, seeing the chat box, uh, I thought my answer is wrong. That's why I am discussing. Okay, okay, okay. I will provide the alternative formula also. Clear in the uh, from, uh, okay. next class. I will provide those uh, this this particular formula to calculate all the things. Clear? Okay, sir. Okay. okay, okay, okay. So I think all of you must understand the simple moving average and the weighted moving average. A little bit confused in case of exponential smoothing. I will clear in the upcoming classes. Clear? So I have to leave uh, for another online classes. So thank you all. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Bye. Thank you, sir. Bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.